led the Hillman to two regional titles in basketball, while also starring at shortstop and on the mound in baseball. He was a member of Jim Valvano's 1983 NC State Cardiac Pack NCAA National Championship winning team. He is a longtime announcer for ABC Sports, NBC Sports, and ESPN. 2015 JCA Hall of Champions inductee, Terry Gannon. Terry was a person who definitely led by example. He's one of the most uh, hardworking people I've ever been around in my entire life. I've never met anyone who worked harder than Terry. He was the true uh, student athlete. And um, I know he worked extremely hard to get to that level, he never took anything for granted. And I think the hard work that he did in the classroom carried over to the athletic field and obviously basketball court and um, gave him the chance to pursue the career that he has today. When we talk about the greatest uh, shooters to ever come through Joliet, uh, Terry's name is always in the top two. Uh, Roger Powell Sr. Uh, from Joliet Central is, is the other uh, person. And uh, the thing that we know is that uh, Terry didn't wake up one morning with a great jump shot. Uh, he worked at it and he worked at it and he worked at it. And even when it was perfect, uh, he worked at it some more. And so I think those of us who saw him come up and those of us who have come through Joliet Catholic uh, Academy and its predecessor schools know that that's the Joliet Catholic way. Terry's had a very highly successful uh, professional uh, career as, as a broadcaster, both for ESPN Sports, for uh, the Golf Channel, and he's done a number of other things. And uh, the big thing about Terry that, that I always realize, and I know it when I listen to him talk quite a bit, is the fact that he has deep roots to Joliet. He really values the education that he received here at Joliet Catholic. He had tremendous athletic experiences while he was here, and he always kept Joliet in the back of his mind. Uh, Everybody knows him from basketball. He's probably is the greatest basketball player in Joliet Catholic history, uh, no question. But he was just a great baseball player. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's gotten enough attention. His junior and senior year, he had to be our most valuable player on our trip down the state tournament. I remember a basketball game against Joliet Township Central High School, my junior year and Terry's senior year. The thing that we remember most about that night is that they had scored to go up uh, with probably about 30 seconds left in the game. And uh, Terry brought the ball up the court and he stood and he dribbled out the clock. Uh, so far from the rim, probably about 30 feet out from the basket it seemed like. And as he dribbled out the clock, uh, the defense laid back and stayed there and just waited on uh, us to start a play, to pass the ball uh, into play and to run a play. And Terry stood there and he dribbled the ball out and he dribbled the clock out and no one ever came to pick him up. And it was a shot that was at that point beyond what was then NBA range. And we didn't play with a three-point circle, or Terry would have had much higher numbers. And as the clock hit about six seconds, uh, Terry just released a bomb of a jump shot from right there. And it hit the bottom of the net. And uh, before a timeout could be called, the clock went out, and we won by one. Uh, that's one of my favorite stories uh, about Terry. Probably the one thing that separates Terry from most of the other student athletes that we had was the fact that he never took anything for granted. He always worked as hard as he possibly could, whether or not it was in the classroom, whether or not it was on the basketball floor, on the baseball field where he was also a, a very good shortstop and pitcher, but he never took anything for granted. He worked exceptionally hard and always did that little bit extra that you find out the exceptional athletes do. They don't have to be told, they just find a way to do it on their own. And that's what Terry did. You know, he was a guy that you, you could see the composure that he had, uh, which has led him into the great uh, profession that he has right now. What a smooth uh, operator he was back then. Um, the funny thing about him is he was probably more mature, certainly than his coaches were, even back then. And uh, he's, he's done such a tremendous job going into that profession. Amazing.
And I want to congratulate Terry. I know he's extremely honored. I know he'll really value that. And I just wish him the best of luck in the future. You're not going to find too many people as, as nice of people as they are athletes as Terry Gannon. He'll do anything for everybody, and I know he uh, is extremely honored uh, to accept the award, and uh, again, we're glad he's a part of it. Well, Terry, it is uh, my honor on behalf of our uh, teammates at Joliet Catholic, the classes of 1981 and 1982, to say congratulations to you on your induction into the Hall of Champions at Joliet Catholic Academy. Uh, it's been a while coming, and I'm glad that this day is here for you. You deserve it. You've worked so hard. You've earned it. We are so proud of you. We're so proud of all of your accomplishments. And uh, your dad's great legacy in this town uh, lives on through you. And again, I just can't wait to see what happens for you next. I know it's going to be something great. Congratulations again. Terry, congratulations on your induction into the JCA Hall of Fame. This is a prestigious honor for you and very well deserved. I know how proud your mom is tonight to be there to accept the award for you. And your dad, Jim, my former coach at Catholic High, is smiling down from heaven for you this evening. Your athletic and academic success at Joliet Catholic in your four-year career is amazing, including the intramural championship from football your senior year, which I was a member of the team and an integral part. That is a highlight that a lot of people don't know about. It was a joy and a blessing to have had the opportunity to coach you for the four years that you were at Catholic High. You were a part of three regional championship teams that compiled a 63 and 20 record you ended as the all-time leading scorer in the history of Joliet Catholic. You also set single season point score, highest scoring average of 24.7, and a 48 performance against Romeoville. I can still remember the night that Coach Valvano from NC State came to watch you play your senior year in the sectional game, that you scored 44 points and only missed one shot one of the greatest performances in the history of Joliet Catholic. And the amazing thing at this is, Terry, that only one time did I have to kick you out of practice for not working as hard as you could. That was one of those great nights for me. I have been a part of two of your dad's best Joliet Catholic teams. I coached at Catholic High for eight years and I have been a fan of JCA Athletics for my entire life. And it is my humble opinion, Terry, that you are the greatest basketball player to ever play at Julia Catholic, and maybe the best two-sport athlete to ever walk the halls of Catholic High. Your 1983 National Championship with NC State is a memorable moment but it only solidifies the greatness and uniqueness of your basketball career. How many JCA students right now can say that they won an NCAA Division I National Championship? I'm willing to bet that there is no one out there that can stake that claim. Your broadcasting career and your playing career have been filled with memorable moments and nothing but excellence. But the most important thing, Terry, is that this award tonight is a phenomenal award for you. But even greater is the award that you get every day for being the loving and caring father for Maddie and Jake and the caring and loving husband of your wife, Lisa. Please know how proud I am of you and my entire family, and God bless.